So there's a fly. So for the past three hours, I've been recording a lot of stuff. And then after recording all of that, I thought this might not be necessary at all. So maybe it's wise to just start with some basic stuff with what we call a partial read. So you will just download a part of the ECU values. Since we're doing this series on tuning the engine, you don't need a full read so that was my mistake and i think it's good to start off with just some basic examples of how does this stuff work uh, how can you uh, download a partial read from from your ecu how can you edit it in specific software and then uh, from that point work towards tuning your engine so for this episode I decided to go with a launch control. So the launch control is something I've posted a very short movie of before. Um, and I got a lot of questions. I also promised to do a, a write-up on how you can do this on your own. So let's use this opportunity to go into the basics of your ECU and explain to you how you can code launch control into your MS42 ECU. Just for learning purposes and it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Here we go. My corner of doing computer stuff. Um, it basically consists only of a screen, an external screen. I bought a laptop and I have this awesome wireless keyboard with a touchpad included. I saw it on many YouTube videos. I, it took me a while to find it uh, and it wasn't. I didn't see it in YouTube videos by then, but I would advise everyone to get this type of thing if you do uh, your engine stuff. To do the actual tuning, I am using a very cheap, very common, commonly used INPA cable. So the D, D and K can. This cable is the one that I'm using quite a lot. So I have two of them. Focus, focus, focus. A very cheap Chinese cable. You can get it everywhere. It works pretty well. Um, gotta say, it's... If it's not working well, try another one because they tend to break quite a lot. Um, and for my specific engine, I still use this one. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. I can do it all via OBD2, uh, but this this uh, multiple pin under under the hood that's really the thing that I like to use. It's consistent. It's it, but I don't think it's necessary. Once again. Back to my PC. I'm using an HP Elite book. The very upside of this laptop, and that's why I looked for this one and I really wanted this one, is that you can turn the screen, which basically means that you can just put it upside down and have it on your lap while doing runs uh, on the street. Works pretty well. I really love the thing. I'll put the type of the laptop in the description. So if you are looking for something to start with, because I'm not a professional, obviously. So if you're looking for something to start with, maybe this is the thing that will help you. The software. Um, for the thing that we're doing currently, I would say, so INPA, I-N-P-A, JM Garage Flasher, Galetto, and Rum Raider would be sufficient to do the job. So if you need to tune your engine, if you need to do basic tuning stuff, that list of software should be enough. 
I will not promote any cracked software. So from my point of view, I will say you need to buy the original one unless you can borrow it from someone or you can find it somewhere on the internet. I will never push people into uh, downloading hacked or pirate software. That's for the software, the hardware, the cable and all of that. That's basically it. So in order to get the uh, partial read from your engine, you need to make sure have your car connected to a battery charger, have your laptop connected to a power supply, right? So, okay, that being said, the thing I always do first is I open up INPA. And INPA tells you right away if your cable is detected, if it's working properly, and if your ignition of your car is on. If this is all black, then we're cool. If one of these is not black but white, then you don't have a proper connection and you want to recheck all of your cables and stuff. So that's all cool. And then we will go to Galeto. Then the first thing you want to do is click ECU data. That's basically a check if everything works correctly. So it starts reading and it will tell you that you have an MS42 and it will tell you some other specifics for your ECU. It's not really relevant, you don't have to do anything with it, but now you know it's working. I forgot to mention like you have a drop down here and you need to select Siemens MS42. So ECU data, it's telling me it is connected and it can read it. So then we will click the read button. And I can't stress this enough. Please make sure you have a proper uh, structure in your folders and all of that stuff. You want to back up the files that you've downloaded from your car. So if anything screws up, you can always put back the old flash file for your car. I will create a folder for the date of today, which is the 27th of April 2021. I will go to that folder. I will name the file initial read dash partial. And now you can see it is it is downloading the current file and once that is done we can see what is currently in the ECU. If that's done uh, it'll tell you a reading is completed turn off the key. Let's do that. And then it's done. Okay cool exit. So now we have a file called initial read. Now we will open up an application called Rum Raider. So we have Rum Raider, and then uh, you can open a file, select all the files, and open up the initial read. There we go. In order to use Rum Raider, uh, you need to have ECU definitions. I will put a link for the ECU definitions in uh, the description of this video. The only thing the definition file is doing is basically the hex file that you downloaded from the ECU. It translated into human language so you actually can read what all of the hex values mean and how it exactly works. Uh, we want to program a launch control function. Let's go to the engine hard limiter and soft limiter. So here is a very very weird thing that's not alright. So we have the vehicle speed and it says kilometers an hour which it isn't for this specific engine. What you actually need to do is find a number uh, and I did a write up on this one. I can show you launch control the MS42 working version. That's my write up on, on what happens in the map. The first column is the fifth gear. 
The second column is fourth gear and the third column is, f is first to third gear. And so the last column so the last column is the one you really want to edit because you want this to be applicable for gears one to three. And then here's the brain crap that you have because we thought it was kilometers an hour, but it isn't. So um, it doesn't reflect kilometers an hour. It is a calculation of your ref limiter value and you have to divide it by the kilometers an hour where you want to be uh, cut it. So what in this example I took a ref limiter of 7000 rpm. I want the hard cut to stop cutting uh, the ignition uh, after 14 kilometers an hour. So the value should be 500. So what I explained is that you should change the values, the column titles, right? So you need the third column and you need to change it into 500. It's not as easy as it might look like because you can't just say, well, this should be 400 or something. It just won't work. You can't type anything into that column title. In order to get this done, you should go to edit and select copy table and then you should go to Excel and paste it all into here. So now we have the values over here uh, and let me for the sake of this example just change it to 400. You select everything again including the table 2D. You copy this one and then you go back to this one and you paste it and then it will reflect your 400 figure there. This is the only way it worked for me. So uh, maybe there's an easier solution to this I'm not familiar with. Happy to see that in the comments, but this is normally how I do it. Now is another thing that is really, really important. You need to change your soft and hard limiter and you need to change for manual transmission and automatic transmission. Not filling in one of them will result in a not working launch control. So we're gonna do this 3500 up and this one 3500 up and then we will save it. You can never overwrite the original file. You always have to save it as something new. So partial read um, launch control enabled. So we saved it. This should be enough to enable launch control. In your ECU is a checksum. So uh, BMW, they try to make it hard to, uh, to edit values within your ECU without having the right uh, tooling from BMW, I guess. Um, so what they did, they, they basically got some values into the file that should match up together. If they don't match up, you don't have the, uh, the right checksum. And if you don't have the right checksum, the car will not start. So before loading this into your engine, you need to correct your checksums. And then we have the Siemens MS42 checksum corrector. This one is from chipster.no, uh, but uh, look on the uh, ms4x.net wiki page and you can find your own checksum corrector. There are many of them and they all work just fine. So. What we do, we open up this application, we open the file, we select the launch control enabled, and then it'll tell me one checksum is corrected. Perfect. Okay. So now we're good to go. We will go back to Galetto again. Okay. So I'll turn on the car. 
I just turned on the car. Once again, this is the critical time where you need power supply and you need your battery and everything. Right, because this is riding. And riding to the ECU can go horribly wrong. So make sure you do the right thing. Um, once again, we'll do the ECU data. See if it reads. It reads. Okay, that's cool. Click the button open file. We will select partial read, launch control enabled. And then we're gonna click, we're gonna click right. Here we go. It now erased the file and it starts writing. So let me take you to the car. You see over there, your temp meter is in red. That's when your car is not connected to your computer anymore and it doesn't know what to do. So um, that's when you can see stuff is happening. Ooh, this is always nerve wracking. Cool, it's at 100% closing the ECU. And this application, funny enough, it's called proper English. Well, it does mean uh, turn off your car. So we will do that. Oop. Turn off the car. Click OK. Then you have to wait. It'll give you 10 seconds so it can reset the ECU. This is just to make sure you, you turn it off and on again. And now you can switch the ignition on. Okay, cool. And now it's time to see if we have launch control. Ignition on. We can see it has connection with the ECU again. Now I'm gonna enable that one and then I'm gonna... It's working. So now it should be like I'm doing zero kilometers an hour. And if it hits 3500 RPM, it should cut off. And that, my friends, is how you create launch control. Welcome to the coolest lesson number one on your ECU. If you manage to do this, you get the absolute basics of remapping your engine. If you need help, if I need to explain uh, stuff more carefully, then um, let me know. Happy to help. That's it for this episode. Uh, let's go on a very cool tour to make your 323i very fast. Awesome.